You have a pretty cool one tonight here. Yes, we do. And they say salad. Who oh. eats a salad with chips? Oh, it is a green goddess salad. I just don't think it is because they serve it with chips. It's not a traditional green goddess. Have you smelt that yeast? Yeah. It needs less of it. I could eat it. Take my day. Oh, up the gym. Pump it up while your feet are stuffing. And the gym is pumping. Look at him. Maybe I'll get it right this time. Maybe I won't. Today we're making the TikTok green goddess salad. Is it good for the campsite? Is it good for picnicking? I even say you might could do it as a dip. I mean, it tastes very healthy. It's way different than any green goddess that I've ever had. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. It's almost like bitter. But it's supposed to be super healthy for you. Yeah. So let's get trendy. All right, it's Trendy Thursday. I'm excited. You have a pretty cool one tonight here. Yes, we do. And they say salad. Well, it is a green goddess salad. I have a big bowl of salad mix i you know i just don't think it is because they serve it with chips well that so who eats a salad with chips that's not a salad croutons what are croutons not they're crunchy chips. they're like chips it's no what if they're thin croutons what about tortilla strips how many salads <laughs> have you made in a restaurant that have tortilla chips not many <laughs> You liar. <laughs> so those are all dips? Yes, I I'm guess they were. These aren't, the, but the pita chips aren't croutons. Neither are tortilla strips fried. Yeah, but you're not taking them and dipping them. We're taking pitas and dipping it them. Says you don't have to. What if it's just the crunch factor? I'm not dipping. The crunch factor? I Is that what you were to just about to say? <laughs> yes. What if it's just the crunch factor? No, they say serve alongside. Hey, you know what? Do we always do what people tell us? No. Exactly. No, we don't. And actually, it doesn't even say pita. It just says chips. That's what I think of that. Yeah. Let's get this salad going. Yeah. Well, it starts off a little like this. We need to roughly chop some vegetables, which oh. means we need a knife. Yeah, so we're just going to rough chop them. It, you know, it doesn't say if we want the whites or not, but, you know, it's flavor, so let's add them. Well, yeah. Can't be wasteful in today's economy. That's right. Boom, right in the top. All right. Oof. Some green onions. Uh-huh, and that was two. Oh, we got And we've some. got two shallots. Nice. Another rough chop, because we're blending all of this. We don't really need to get too small or too precise. We're just, you know, making it easier on a blender. Exactly. Boom. Every time I say exactly, I tend to say egg. Exactly. You've got the pun stuck in my head. That was the plan. Uh-oh, we're going to need a juicer. Oh, we can just squeeze them by hand, maybe. I, I got a juicer. Oh, you do? Where? Look, I have everything. Wow, this guy. Plan ahead. But yeah, I think this could be, other than maybe needing a blender, really probably a good recipe for camping. I mean, I bet if you had a stick blender, you could probably do it in a That's right. little jar and use your stick blender. That's true, because, I mean, you could just charge this bad boy up, and then you'll have it for your camping excursion. Yeah, it's a lot simpler than bringing a big blender, although they do have the stick blenders that have the attachment. The blender attachment and everything, so, I mean. That's true. And that one's wireless, so yeah. that would work out. So, I actually, so I kind of take that back. I think this would be a good recipe. Now. Well, let's wait let's, till we taste it. Let's taste it before <laughs> we recommend <laughs> before we jump to this recipe. But, you know, I think it, as an idea, is a good idea. We're also gonna add this bad boy in there, too. Just use this spoon right here. And it did not specify an amount. It just said two. Two limes? Yes. Yeah. Well, it said lemons, but uh, I was kind of thinking like the Caesar salad. And it's supposed to be green lemons or yellow. These are green. Yeah. I made a few adjustments. Just it's, like. You know, it happens. Everybody should make minor adjustments. Adapt it to you. And just like this recipe did call for a couple of things that are a pain to find. That's why I don't like a lot of these mm -hmm. trendy ones. Yeah, and we need that. Just um, rough chop that too. Bunch of dill. Love yeah, dill. an actual <laughs> bunch. That's funny. Oh, and also I added hummus. Now it calls for tahini, but you know it's kind of hard to find that. And do. hummus is pretty much the same. Yeah, it has it in there, and that's it works. I yeah. think it'll be just fine. So you don't have to buy a big thing of tahini. That you may never use again. No. 
unless you make a lot of hummus, then you'll have it. Yeah. But like we said, it was hard to find. There's only a couple of places I know where we can get it in this area. Now mm -hmm. you may live in an area that isn't a food desert, but. Yeah. Then we're throwing in some spinach. Mm. Now I was talking to someone that raw spinach upsets their stomach and such. Mm -hmm. And I was figuring, you know, like pestos, you could exchange this instead of spinach, but arugula. I like that idea. I Some knew you were going basil, there. basil, different herbs. Ooh, so you could do like a, a mixture. You could do a little bit of basil, some arugula. Yeah. So, I mean, that's very fun. If you're not a spinach fan, feel free. Yeah. And now we're just well, going to... want all your... We're just going to add the rest of our ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> some vinegar. And it's red wine vinegar. Uh-huh. And uh, then... How much olive oil? I totally a quarter forgot. Cup. Quarter cup. Cool. So we're just making the dressing. We don't yeah. want flies in it. Don't need an added protein. Exactly. I, I mean, you know, it it's, wouldn't be necessarily. I mean, they want us to eat bugs, so. That's right. Supposedly, they're going to start adding uh, ground up crickets. Or yes, they already have a lot of stuff. Yeah. But hey, I've eaten crickets. So it's not that bad. Yeah. You just add this in here? That's kind of yes, crazy. Yes, that's everything. And then wow. the other thing we had trouble locating was the nutritional yeast powder or flake but yep. I got the powder because it's a little cheaper and it's going in a dressing yeah the only thing about the powder is it's powdery yeah oh but we gosh. found it at this little health food store so if you can't find it at your local grocer then you could probably if you have a health food store around vitamin store they'll probably have it yeah and we're doing a quarter cup so that's gonna be four tablespoons mm-hmm it's three and a four. There we go. All right, this should be easy peasy. Oh, and a teaspoon of oregano. Oh yeah, that's right. Luckily, a teaspoon fits in this bad boy. That's right. Boom. All right. And we're not gonna add the salt and pepper yet because we're gonna make this and then to taste. That's right, because you never wanna just guess. Yes. So let's get uh, blended. Oh, you know, I've got to say, it smells really good. That's pleasantly, you can tell that yeast is very umami. It's a little different when you lighten it up. A yeah. Little, just a little pinch of salt. Hmm. And then a little bit of pepper. A couple of crap. I'm still trying to decide what I think about that. It's pretty good. Yes, I think. Not bad. Just go ahead and sit this real quick. Okay. While he's doing that, we got some little baby cucumbers. Mm. Not the big ones, because you want the little nice small seeds, lots yeah. of skin. And they taste a lot better than the big giant cucumbers. Now, I like cucumber. And I got some more green onions that we're mm -hmm. just gonna slice them. Mm, some nice pretty little green onions. Yeah, that's why I just stopped talking. Ah, finally. <laughs> okay. And now some feta. Look at that. Mm. Might as well. Come on, don't be don't be crazy. Alright. Now this is gonna be very light and summery. And in fact, I'm gonna go grab some gloves because you wanna toss this around. It says to toss it before you add the dressing. But I like to use my hands to toss. And I don't know what you said, we've got a small head of cabbage cut up, but man, it turns into a lot. Yeah. It's kind of bigger than my bowl now. <laughs> and I bet you this recipe, once you mix everything together, the next day it's probably gonna taste way better. Oh. Most definitely. All right, let's. Now it's just time to pour our green <laughs> goddess dressing all over this bad boy. Yeah. Ooh, look that at that. That is a very green. Yeah, that's like. It's like pea green. Yeah. Not urine, but. <laughs> Somebody's like, your pea is green? <laughs> Bro, get that checked out. <laughs> now, it's like a very earth oh. green. Uh oh. Hey, 
We're babysitting a little dog. We are. <laughs> wow. I wish I had a bigger bowl. Yeah, you know, a bigger bowl might be pretty nice, or less cabbage. I know, but I got the smallest head. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, it definitely makes a mess. And yes. you definitely need a gigantic bowl, mixing bowl. Good thing we're in the outdoor test kitchen. That's right. And we've got a little vacuum, like we talked about and earlier. And he likes his vegetables. Yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty Although good. there is some green onion in there. Probably not. <laughs> He's fat, Larry. He'll survive. <laughs> okay. Cool. Grab a bite. Look at that. Yeah. Let's uh, not forget a couple things real quick. Don't get too crazy now. We got some toasted sesame seeds. Oh, I totally forgot. As and a garnish. And a giant mess. Yeah, we'll do some more. I mean, I would be pretty heavy. Then here's your fake dip. Yeah. I mean, it tastes very healthy. Yeah. It's not bad. Oh. Okay. It's not a traditional green guys, what do you think? Yeah. Man, that's weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like the sauce by itself. It's almost like bitter. But with the chip and the sesame seed and the cabbage, it really works. Well, and strong flavors. Yeah. Cucumber, feta, that tahini, that yeast. Actually, I would probably use maybe two tablespoons of that and not a quarter cup. Because that umami flavor is very strong. Yeah. And kind of. You might could even knock it down to one. Oh. But all in all, it's pretty good. It is. It's way different than any green goddess that I've ever had. Yeah. I mean, I like it. It's a fun one. Yeah. Maybe more feta cheese on top would have been. Yeah. Maybe more feta. Um. Mm. I think some basil in there really would have been awesome. Yeah. And instead of the spinach, yeah. do a cup of a basil and... Yeah, cause that spinach has like a little bitter note to it, whereas mm -hmm. the basil would be a little sweeter. And so I think that would help the flavor profile a lot better. And too, but it's a fun idea. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty simple to make. It was. I'm gonna admit, I'm not gonna make it the same way, but no, I would still take it, make some notes, make some exactly. more changes. It's a great idea. And I think it will, and it's beautiful. I mean, that's. It, it is very pretty. Bring I mean, that on a like, picnic. That's as green as you can get. That's right. Yeah. What so yeah, we'll change? put the original recipe and then like our, our recipe that we yeah. would suggest. So awesome. Oh, yeah. But I would definitely give it a try. Definitely. And don't forget to keep it trendy. Yeah. Make my day. Oh, fuck the gym. Fuck the gym.